Hi guys, it's your girl Blossom and Jasmine and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so very excited to show you guys this tutorial on how I'm going to add this rhinestone beaded applique to this plain nude bathing suit. And I got this bathing suit from AliExpress, but I'm going to also link in this video an Amazon a bathing suit that looks very similar if you wanted to achieve the same look. But the concept is just what I want to teach you guys. So I've seen a lot of blinged out bathing suits and they will run you anywhere between three to four hundred dollars. This little creation right here cost me less than a hundred dollars. <laughs> so it's to me affordable and you know, you look like a million dollars. So in this video, I'm going to show you in three simple steps how to add this beaded rhinestone applique to this swimsuit. Literally just three steps. Step number one, we're going to pin it down with my pins. Now, something really quick to uh, share with you guys. I actually took sewing classes <laughs> and I went to a sewing lounge in Brooklyn, New York called Soul Collections. And this is the very first thing I've ever, I ever sewed. And I blinged it and it says, Blossoming Jasmine. So just a little cute uh, side note. All right, so we're going to pin this down. All right, so I start with pinning around the swimsuit. You're gonna pin all the edges and you're gonna pin the applique to the swimsuit going all the way around to the middle of the swimsuit. You just wanna make sure that it's even. So try your best to, you know, keep everything even so that once you sew it, it is in the right position. And once you've done that, I'm going to go ahead and um, knot my needle, well, knot the thread for my needle, and um, then go and cut the lace that's at the top of that applique. And then now it's time to sew. And you're going to sew it to the edges of the swimsuit. And that's it. Just follow it all the way around. The technique that I use for this video, I'm going to link in the description bar so that you can see um, in slow motion how uh, the technique is, but it's just basically an in and out motion around the applique, around the edges. And I just continue that all the way around. And then I had to re-thread my needle. This probably took me about, um, I would say honestly, hmm, an hour to do. I really took my time because the applique is so heavy. So I wanted to make sure it was securely on. And the final product is absolutely gorgeous. Thanks guys for watching. Stay until the end. Put a uh, crown emoji if you guys stayed until the end, okay? Love you. So this is the final product. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so that's why it's so dark. Um, but I figured if I turned on the light, you wouldn't be able to see the sparkle as much. But this is the end product. And... Um, Yes, yeah, so I just threw on a little jacket. I don't know when I'm going to wear this or where. 
But you know, this is a look. I'll most likely wear this with like a, uh, some type of wrap around cover up so that I can just wear the top. And I'm gonna actually tape this down to my boob so that it just stays because it literally, it's heavy. So whenever you bedazzle stuff like this, it's heavy. So it's gonna, you know, be heavy. So you have to uh, secure it. So I'm gonna secure it uh, by taping it. So that's all, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, comment, subscribe, let me know what you feel. Tag me in anything that you've made at Blossoming Jasmine and check out my new content on my YouTube and on my website at BlossomingJasmine.com. I love you guys. See you soon. 